good morning friends now the next topic related to the vegetable paste that is the onion paste some of the points associated to this topic here to be focused here that is the about onion plant then the paste of the onion and third part is the onion thrip that is a thrips tabaci here to be step by step focused about the systematic position of onion thrips then the host plant marks of identification life cycle nature of damage and control measures the first of all the onion plant that is the allium sepa onion is extremely important vegetable crop due to their nutritional properties as well as highest foreign exchange earner among the fruits as well as the vegetables in fact it has the medicinal properties also and which is recognized from ancient times when they used to treat the health problems as the headache heart diseases as well as mouth sores or the ulcer a nutrient involved in regulating the health tissue repair and iron absorption metabolism red blood cells production and the nerve functions also it contains the antioxidant and related other compo compounds that fight the inflammation decrease the triglycerides and reduce the cholesterol level ultimately which impact is on the lower the heart diseases risk it it reduces the risk of the certain cancers especially the stomach and the colorectal eating onions daily may help control the blood sugar which is specially significant for the people which are suffering from the diabetes now about the onion production india is the second largest onion growing country in the world next to the china but in case of the productivity india is very low as compared to the china and other countries also as egypt netherland and the iran indian onions are famous for their pungency and are available round the year or overall the year it is the second most important commercial crops of the india which is next to the potato maximum onion production in the certain states of the india especially the maharashtra then the karnataka gujarat bihar madhya pradesh and the andhra pradesh now about the pest of the onion so many pest which attack on the onion plant and decline their productivity due to their infestation some of these are onion thrips then the onion maggot or the onion fly bulb mite eriophyd mite and red spider mite now about the thrips tabaci first of all most toward the systematic position that the phylum arthropoda class insecta order thysanoptera the members included in that order commonly known as the thrips family thripidae genus thrips and the species tabaci these are the host plant including the onion that is a garlic cotton cabbage cauliflower potato these are the number of the vegetable and the fruit plants available in the agriculture field and where they attack it is polyphagous in nature now the marks of identification first of all the names it is a white to pale yellow elongate slender body and lack of wings names resembles to that of the adults in the shape as well as the color pattern but are wingless and slightly smaller as well as the reproductive pattern also next is the adult it is slender and yellowish brown in color the fore wings and the hind wings are fringe and pale in color the mouth parts are specially modified in the form of the long elongated stylets due to which they puncture the 
plant tissue and suck the plant sap. Here, the piercing and sucking type of the mouth parts are present here. Males are wingless while the females have long narrow fringe wings. Now, the life cycle. After mating, a female can lay about 50 to 60 kidney shaped eggs singly in the slits formed by the piercing and sucking type of the mouth parts, especially in the leaf tissues. After the incubation period is of the 4 to 9 days, the small yellowish names hatch out. out. The names pass through the four developmental stages and are full fed in 4 to 6 days here. After 4 to 6 days, that names which moves toward the ground for the pupation. Here, in this pupal stage, two stages are present, pre-pupa and the late pupa. Pre-pupa lasts up to the 1 to 2 days, while the late pupa, it takes 2 to 4 days for the development here. After that, it moves into the another stage that is adult here. Several generations are completed in a year. After the life cycle, that is nature of damage. The damage which is caused by both the nymph as well as the adult. They lacerate with the help of the mouth parts, the onion leaf tissues and suck the sap from the leaves. The leaves of attack plants or the infested plants turn silvery white, curl, wrinkle and gradually dry from the tip downwards. After the infestation, the plants do not form the bulbs, nor do the flowers set seeds. Leaf tip discoloration and drying is the main symptom which is infestation carried by the pest. These are the images we are showing the infestation caused by this pest here. In this diagram showing the growing parts which are completely dried here and here the white pattern where shows that infestation carried by the pest. Now the control measures. First of all the cultural methods. We can use resistant and tolerant varieties against to that of the pest. Destruction of the infested plants and crop residues after the harvest. Avoid planting of the garlic or other alternative host such as cabbage, cotton, tomato, cucumber, melons, pumpkins near the onion crop. Use of reflective plastic silver color and aluminum painted black mulches repel the thrips. This can be used by the number of the farmers. Use of sprinkler irrigation reduces the thrips population considerably compared to drip and the surface irrigation also. Next is the chemical method. Here we can use the chemicals as the 0.3% monocrotophos, 0.03% dimethoate, 0.02% diazinon or 0.1% DDT which are effective to controlling the pest here. The second chemical method is the fumigation. We can use the cell phos tablets which contains the aluminum phosphoids which are available in the market which also effective to control the pest here. We can also use certain biological controlling agents also. In the form of the allothrips species, green leswing larvae, coccinellid adults that is the ladybird beetles are very effective to control that pest here. They fit on the nymphal stages as well as the adults also. Next is the parasitide that Cyrenaceus minis also effective to control the pest here. Along with that, entomopathogenic nematodes that name is the Stinernema species, Heterorhabditis bacteriophora are effective to control that onion thrips. Next is the entomopathogenic fungi which also effective to decline the population of that pest and increasing the onion yield also. That fungus especially Bivaria bassiana and Metarhizium anisopli. Here to be completed this topic. Thank you. Thank you.